Hello, today 9 to 5 Mac is going to show you the Photos application included in the iPhone SDK 3.2 for iPad Beta 3. First thing you'll notice that is that we have a custom background on our home screen. That is something we toggled in the new Photos application. As you can see really quickly here, camera, right here, this is the bug we were talking about. It's yet to be seen what this means. So right here we're in the Photos view and we see five photos here that I saved to the photo roll from Safari built into the iPad simulator. Then we have albums, and this is the saved photos album. So in the real iPad, this will probably be uh, along the same lines. So we can pinch to close the photo album. Pinch to open, just as you saw on the promo video on Apple.com or at the Apple Keynote. Click to open a photograph. You can zoom in, do whatever with the photo. Another new thing that we have here that's not on the iPhone is you can rotate a photo. As you can see, that looks interesting there. And that's just an animation and a transition from uh, the photo being open, the photo being closed. So, pinch to close the photo. Then we can swipe left or right. On this photo, as you can see, we have the bottom bar here, and then you can quickly go through your photos, and they load up very quickly. You can delete a photo by clicking here. You can assign this photo to a contact. Moving scale. It doesn't work very well in the simulator, but we'll just use this. And I'll show you this wallpaper in a sec. So I also have slideshow here, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can turn it on and off to play music. So we'll turn that on. Then there's different transitions. We'll go with the origami transition. Start slideshow. And then the slideshow will begin from the photos I've saved to the photo roll. And as you can see, that's the origami transition that Steve Jobs previewed at the Concierge's creation event in late January of this year. So you basically have a feel for the slideshow. And we just clicked on it to close it out, and the photos application We'll reload in. Okay, so let's go to another photo here and I'll show you the wallpaper. Save photos, let's go to this dock. So we'll tap to bring up the menu, we'll click uses wallpaper. We can set it as the lock screen wallpaper. So set lock screen, we'll go to the lock screen, and then it's the lock screen wallpaper. But when we slide to unlock and go to the home screen, it's the wallpaper that you saw that I had before. You go back to the Photos app. You can pick this photo, for instance, as the lock screen wallpaper, or you can do it as the home screen wallpaper. So let's make it the home screen wallpaper. Set as home screen. Go to the home screen. Now it's the home screen wallpaper. So great wallpaper. You lock and you still have the other one. Then an interesting feature is that you can set one photo as both at one time. So let's make this picture of the iPad on the New York Times website. Center that. Use the wallpaper. Set as both. Now it's the wallpaper for the home screen and for the lock screen. Something that was there in the previous two betas was this photo frame right here. But when you clicked it, nothing happened. Now when you click it, you actually get the slideshow that we saw inside the Photos app a few minutes ago. So let's get out of that. Close Photo Frame. Go into Settings, and then we have Photo Settings. Play each slide for a certain amount of seconds. Repeat or shuffle.
Also in photos is being able to edit, quickly delete, copy or email. <clears throat> so let's select these three photos. We can copy them to the clipboard. Open Safari for instance. And just paste it into a text field. Now this won't work properly, it'll just say image underscore zero 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 point three point JPEG. Um, that's because there's the Google search bar doesn't support the viewing of images, but if you had the notes application or something along those lines, it would probably work fine. Edit, select these two, and then you can email them. So it's quick emailing just like you see on the iPhone in the iPad simulator. And we can just send these off quickly. So it's inline email, as you can see. Get out of that. So that's basically a brief tour of the Photos application on the iPad Simulator. The application will probably have a few more features when it launches um, in late March and late April. Thank you very much.